Good day everybody, it's me Angela Isabel T. Faro and today we are going to discuss about this one special scientist whose name is Jen Dalton. Who is Jen Dalton? Jen Dalton was born during September 6, 1766 at Eaglesfield, United Kingdom. He was the scientist whose first experiment was all about gases. Talking about gases, he divided the matters into three forms. First, we have liquid, second, the solid, and lastly, the gases. As he continued experimenting, later he discovered that gas mixtures is the sum of the partial pressure. It is in his study that the gases are released by its own force. Therefore, it divorces the same space. Or according to the study that I have read, it connotes as every gas is a vacuum to every other gas. Now, talking about chemistry, then it has formula. The Dalton's law of partial pressure has formula. It is written as P is equals to P1 plus P2 plus P3. But it is read as total pressure is equals to partial pressure of substance 1 added to partial pressure of substance 2 and lastly added to partial pressure of substance 3. And I think that is all and we have Kyla Hias to go further. Thank you. Dalton's Law on Partial Pressure So before we start, we're going to have a simple analogy. So suppose we have 3 apples, 5 mangoes, and 4 oranges on 3 separate containers. Now, we're going to combine them all into one big container. And if you're going to count all the fruits, it's going to be 10 fruits. So we're going to incorporate that into a much detailed topic later. So let's remember that the pressure is directly proportional to the number of moles. And that is derived from the formula of the ideal gas law. So we're going to have three containers again. And we're going to put five moles of blue gases in one container, 4 moles of orange gases, and 6 moles of green gases. Since 1 mole is equivalent to 0 0.1 atmosphere, we can say that 5 moles is equivalent to 0 0.5 atmosphere, 4 moles is 0 0.4 atmosphere, and so on. And as you can see in here, we can denote all these atmospheres into Pa for our blue gases, P sub B for our orange, and P sub C for our green gases. And we, if we're going to combine them, just like our fruits a while ago, we're going to get the P subtotal, which is the total pressure of these gases. Then if we're going to use all those mathematical symbols or equations to form a formula, this is where John Dalton's law of, on partial pressures come in. And it basically states that the total pressure of a mixture of gases is equal to the sum of the partial pressures. Thank you. The partial pressure of each gas in a mixture is proportional to its mole fraction. The composition of a gas mixture can be described by the mole fractions of the gases present. So what is mole fraction? Mole fraction is a measure of the number of moles of a substance compared to the moles of matter present. So the formula is the partial pressure of the gas within a mixture will be equal to the mole fraction of that gas times the total pressure. So for example, if there were 0.25 moles of a particular gas out of 1 mole of total gas particles, that would mean a mole fraction of 0.25. And if the total pressure of the sample was 900 torr, the partial pressure of the gas in question would be 225 torr.